today today we're gonna talk about why the five things i hate about my ram trx yeah the five things five things with the ashy hands to match so we're gonna talk about the five things i hate about my ram trx let's get it <clears throat> well you know first off i'm gonna tell you the main one of the main reasons i things i hate about this ram trx is look how much room i got in the garage man this thing barely fits in the garage i mean it's like so tight man let me see if i can show you how tight it is in this garage let me go turn my light on real quick and i'm gonna show you how tight it is it can barely fit in this bad boy you know what i'm saying it can barely fit in here as you can see look it's all the way back to the wall like all the way back to the wall and i got a i got a jeep with 26 inch wheels on my jeep and look my jeep got the 26 inch wheels on it big old wheels and look and i got the fifth wheel 26 inch fifth wheel with a, a freezer in my garage so it's like no room with this truck this truck is like no room like look look how much space i got to just get into the jeep and then i got to fold the um mirrors in go over here real quick i mean look at this it's like no room back here none this truck is so big look i got just just enough room just enough room to fit in here and not rub my bumper at the same time because you know i ain't trying to rub that bumper rub that paint off on that bumper so yeah i ain't got nothing let me unplug my thing real quick yeah you ain't got no room with this bag oh, almost tripped and fell lord jesus yeah, I ain't got no room and this is a standard garage two car garage and look it's just no room in this bad boy and I love this truck but man when I got it I'm gonna be honest with y'all when I got this TRX I didn't do no I didn't do no measurements I didn't do not no measurements so as you know I pulled up to the house and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't even, hold on. My yeah, yeah, like I was saying, I had to leave my house. My neighbor was on some crazy daisy, man. Shout out to my neighbor, though, man. I ain't mad at you. You got to do what you got to do. But, uh, yeah, when I first got this truck, when I got this truck home, I'm telling you, I didn't even, I didn't measure this truck when I was looking for it. I didn't do none of that. I didn't want to, but when I was pulling up to the garage, the first thing that came to my mind, first thing that came to my mind was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You didn't even measure the truck you didn't even measure it because in my mind i was thinking the truck was gonna be like small like like a wreck i ain't gonna say a uh, uh 1500 uh dodge ram 1500 is small because it really ain't small but i was thinking like a dodge ram 1500 size i wasn't thinking it was gonna be big like this this thing is humongous i know you're like yeah right this this truck is humongous like it's humongous like super big and that's another thing you know for my uh second thing that i don't like about the truck is uh it's not made for short guys man this is not a short guy's truck this is this is definitely not a short guy's truck this is this truck is not for the short <laughs> it ain't for the short guys i mean it is for the short guys but what i'm saying is the truck is so tall that you know when i'm drying and washing the truck and all that stuff i can't reach the hood you know i'm a short guy look like, this is as far as i can reach you know i can't re i can't really reach it like i want to to dry it off I gotta get a step stool or I gotta step on the tire to dry it off when I'm washing it. So it really ain't made for the, you know, it's made for the little guy, but let's just be honest. This ain't a little guy's truck. This ain't a truck for the little, the little guy. <laughs> this ain't the little, this ain't your little guy's uh, uh, Dodge Ram 1500. Even though the 1500 may be a little tall too. I never had a 1500, so I can't really say, but I got a Ford F-150 in there. Uh, I pre it, it's pretty easy for me to wash that off but yeah this bad boy i can't even reach the top of this bad boy and nothing like that it's just it's just it's definitely not made specifically for the short guys that's my second one so my first one is it's too long it doesn't fit in the garage it's, well it does fit in the garage but i ain't got no extra space i can't really do nothing extra it's got to get in there and i got to get out and squeeze out and uh so this bad boy is so big that it really don't fit in the garage like i thought it would so and also it's too tall my second one is it's too tall for the short guy i don't think it's a short guy's truck this is for the big boys it's for the big boys but i'm a big boy at heart you know what I'm saying? <laughs> i am a werewolf though <laughs> believe that believe that but uh check this out my third one is we already know what the third one gonna be it's gas 
this thing drink gas like 40 going north like 40 going north i don't even know what my gas mileage is on here let's see what let's see what, what i'm getting on gas since we talking about that let's see what i'm getting on gas get on by here mosquito let's see what i'm getting on gas i have to shut the door because you know it's gonna be making that dumb old sign let's see what we getting on gas hold on i'm gonna get to it and then we can talk about it let's see what i'm getting on gas i have to shut the door because you know it's gonna be making that dumb old sign Let's see what we getting on gas. Hold on, I'm gonna get to it and then we can talk well, about it. I couldn't figure, it don't even tell me what I'm getting miles per gallon, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting at least 10 or less. It's either 10 or less, whatever I'm getting is 10 or less, so. They don't tell me, but I know the gas is horrible in this bad boy. I mean horrible, you go around the block and you don't burn the half, the half a tank of gas. I'm just playing, I'm just playing, but definitely out of all the Hellcats, this is probably the one with the worst gas mileage of all of them would be this this truck. It's worse gas than TRX, worse gas than a Durango. I'm pretty sure Durango coming in a strong second and that uh uh Trackhawk is coming in a strong third. But my I had a Hellcat ch uh Challenger. That bad boy wasn't great on gas either. That that bad boy wasn't great on gas. I had a scat pack too. It wasn't that great on gas either. It wasn't horrible though. The scat pack ain't really super horrible on gas. It ain't the greatest, but it ain't super horrible. But that Hellcat, garbage on gas. Uh, this bad boy, garbage, Garbino, trash on gas. And I had a ZL1 1LE uh, Camaro. The, to tell you the truth, that thing is pretty good on gas. It had 650 horsepower, 650 torque. It was supercharged too, but it wasn't bad on gas. I'm gonna be already real. It really wasn't bad on gas. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if I was getting like 16 miles to the gallon. And that's a big boy V8. But it's got a smaller blower on the thing. It's got like a 1.5 blower versus this. I think this is a 2.5 or 2.3, something like that blower on it. I ain't for sure. But yeah, this bad boy horrible on gas. I mean horrible. So I'm just going to tell you right now, if you're going to get one, no, for sure. He horrible. King horrible of gas. King horrible. But when you get one of these, you ain't really tripping on the gas. So we ain't gonna really going to trip, trip on the gas. But that's definitely, definitely a good reason why I hate this Dodge Ram. Dodge Ram, Ram TRX. You know what it is. Also, another thing I hate about this Ram is these fender flares. Now, I know they look black. They are black. But they like, they, um, why did they not, like, gloss black them they should have gloss black them instead of this little i don't know if this is it's, this is plastic i know it's plastic so they could have they could have painted these gloss black they would have looked so much better gloss black they could have gloss black these or at least glossed them like the color of this bumper i mean they do look the same color as the bumper but they could have put the same kind of paint that they got on the bumper they could have put that on the fender flares and made it look a little bit i mean it looks good but i think it could it would have looked better if it was gloss black like the whole, they should have glossed black. The fender flares, they should have glossed black. The front end of that, they should have glossed black. All of this, all that should have been glossed black. You could have kept, you could have kept that right there, the little uh, shield, rock shield and all that, whatever that is at the bottom. You could have kept that the same color it is. Also, you could have kept the ram color the same way it is. Like a, I don't know what color that's, like a granite color. But I, I believe the rest of it, that should have been glossed black. I mean, that should have been glossed black. This right here should be glossed. That should be glossed. It should have just been glossed black. Even the uh, mirrors right here, I believe they should have been glossed black too. Also, the pillars should have been glossed black. It's like they just kind of, um, ain't no kind of, they cheaped out. They figured, okay, we can make it look good, but we ain't even got to paint it. You know what I'm saying? Just some plastic molding, throw it on there, make it look good. You know, it's like a wide body because this, this thing is super wide. Boy, this thing wide. You see that little wide body on there? Best looking truck out there. I mean, the F-150 uh, Raptor R beautiful truck too beautiful truck too i will put a picture up for the uh raptor r that's a beautiful truck too but it ain't got nothing on no trx it don't look like this this thing this thing this this a whole nother level right here and uh but yeah i wish they would have glossed black those fender flares the front end uh, grill and up, up top you know the uh vent the venting right here i wish they would have glossed black all that that would have been crazy that would have set it off it would have been um pointy doink 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 so what we got we got we wish we'd have glossed black they should have glossed black all the uh plastic pieces it's too tall for the short guys the gas that's three um also it's too big i hate it because it don't fit in my garage and uh my last but not least why did they govern this truck <laughs> i mean why did they govern this truck this truck is governed you be flying and it once you hit 118 it's over with it's done 
you're not going no faster than 118. I mean, this truck is super fast, but they governed it. So you're never going to really get to see what this truck is truly capable of unless you put a tune on it and get rid of the govern, the governor. I hate that they governed this truck, man. It sucks. I know it's dangerous for a truck to be able to go as fast as this truck can go. But, man, come on. Why you govern it? You take away the fun. It's just like you get you get to you you get to really feeling it when you move it and boom you get to 118 and it's like it ain't got no more go and you know you know deep down in your heart you know deep down in your heart it's got more power that thing got more power than what they're giving us and you're like man it's governed so if you get one of these know that it's gonna be governed so no you only gonna be able to do 118 now i don't know if the raptor r is governed i wonder if they govern that i'm pretty sure they govern that too at 120 they probably govern it at 120 just to get at dodge so they know that they govern this truck at 118. i know a lot of people think oh it's governed at 120. no it's governed at 118 baby 118 is all you gonna get so those are my five things i mean i'm not sitting here saying the truck is um i hate th those are pretty much really whack things that really it ain't really much you can hate about this truck i mean it's probably one of the most perfectly built tr vehicles ever of all time it's probably the greatest truck of all time you know greatest truck. i mean raptor had to copy off of this truck this is probably the greatest truck of all time so it really ain't no i really don't have too many nags we got gas we got this too it really don't fit in your garage it's too tall for the short guys um govern as well as the body the body molding should be painted that's not really a lot to be mad about you know that ain't really too much like that ain't that ain't a deterrent to get you to not want the car i mean the truck and also one more thing i'm gonna give y'all a bonus i'm gonna give y'all a bonus you see this arrow right here this is this not right here this ain't fake this real arrow right there see that that's real arrow that's real air events air flows through that which is lovely you know i love that but this arrow right here fake that's fake why did they do that you could have made that real too you could have cut that out what's gonna get in there you could have cut it out and made it let it made it look crazy i'm pretty sure it probably would have been some serious rusting back there with that being open in the future but i wish that was real arrow that would have made it look a little more cooler but you really can't tell that it's fake arrow until you get up close and personal with this bad boy but yeah i wish they wouldn't have did that fake arrow so i gave you six fake i gave you fake arrow i gave you gas i gave you too uh, big for the short guy it's too long for your garage governed it's the, the governor and i gave you the um six one would be the body molding paint should have been uh gloss black or painted but other than that man it's a perfect truck as you can see you tell me you tell me a vehicle on the road that look better than this this is the best looking hellcat of all the hellcats from the charger challenger t uh trackhawk and durango this is the best one you can get this is the all around top one you can get it's the best looking one you can do the most stuff with this you can uh you can put your whole family inside of it and if you need to bring a refrigerator home in the back you know what i'm saying you need to bring a refrigerator home in the back you just throw it in the back but that's for another video but with that being said man hopefully y'all enjoyed this video you know new to the trx game not super new because i had it much longer than people think i had this truck for a long time a lot of people don't know i had it i just don't never be putting it on sometimes i be i be so focused on my car reviews and other things and my tiktok and my uh uh instagram and my facebook that i be forgetting to post the stuff that i be having like my jeep i got jeep videos i ain't posted i got ss videos i ain't posted i got magnum videos i ain't posted i'm about to get back on the grizzly you know what i'm saying get back on the grizzly get up back on my werewolf you know but yeah that's 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 the five things i hate i actually gave you six but that's the five things i hate about my ram trx 1500 pickup truck i love it baby i love it but with that being said man y'all stay safe y'all stay blessed y'all stay away from negative people i cannot i cannot put more emphasis on this i know the video dragging on a little bit but i gotta say this to my young ones listen you gotta stay away from negative people negative people will drain you they they, they drain you they're gonna take you away from your dreams because they're, they're not gonna support them they're gonna hate on you when you start achieving something you pull up in one of these and you hanging up hanging out with a negative person you know what he gonna say ah oh, man it's all right it ain't really all that it's all right you know it's all right and then when they get behind your back they're gonna be like he think he better than everybody or she thinks she better than everybody because she got a trx you know so you got to stay away from the negative people stay real stay around people that's gonna be positive that's gonna uplift you and gonna tell you to chase your dreams and uh believe me you already need friends 
friends is cool when you got good friends if you really got solid friends y'all ain't got to see each other every day and as soon as y'all see each other it's gonna be like you was kicking it with each other every day you don't need to be kicking it with people every day kick it with yourself so you can get some shit done part my language but uh get some stuff done you know do what you do but with that being said it's your boy t light you want me to hit you with the classic t light oh yeah yes yeah, your boy t light man i'm sliding on up out of here i love y'all y'all stay safe big ram trx